Hello, this is one of a series of physics test prep videos. Uh, this video in particular is on momentum and collisions. Uh, first off, the content and language objectives. A content objective is I can review for an upcoming test over momentum and collisions. A language objective is I can ask questions about momentum and collisions content that I'm not familiar with. Uh, so first, a momentum minute review. Uh, first of all, momentum, uh, it is a product of mass and velocity, so momentum uh, measured in kilogram meters per second is equal to mass times velocity. Uh, why does momentum use P as a variable? Because M stands for mass. Uh, the example that's given here calculate the momentum of a 30 kilogram object moving 4 meters per second. P is equal to M times V. 30 times 4 is 120 kilogram meters per second. I impulse is a change in momentum. Uh, so I is equal to delta or change in P. And impulse is a product of force times time. So force times time is equal to impulse. So calculate the impulse of a four Newton force acting for six seconds. Impulse is equal to force times time or four times six is 24 kilogram meters per second. On the right hand side, there are pictures of a collision. And so uh, when you involve two objects running into each other, uh, momentum is conserved. There's what is called the law of conservation of momentum. So your total momentum before is equal to your total momentum afterwards. Uh, the, across the bottom of the screen, there's a very large equation, P1B, P2B. Uh, so that's used for conservation of momentum, uh, where you can have all sorts of different things happening. You kind of need to write your own equation. P stands for momentum. One represents object one B before. Uh, one plus two would be two objects stuck together. Zero if nothing's moving before, I is impulse. And so you choose what applies to a given circumstance, write your own equation to solve for some unknown variable. Uh, so here are some momentum test prep questions. There are four different questions that have to do with momentum, inertia, impulse, and collisions. Uh, so I'd recommend pausing the video, try to go through these different questions and see what you can answer yourself uh, before we go through them as a group. Uh, first question has to do with momentum versus inertia. So momentum is mass times velocity. Uh, inertia is just a product of an object that just has to do with its mass. And so which uh, ball has more inertia? A basketball with a mass of 0.4 kilograms, velocity of 4 meters per second. A golf ball with a mass of 0.025 kilograms, a velocity of 34 meters per second. Or a baseball with a mass of 0.1 kilograms, a velocity of 22 meters per second. Uh, inertia is just mass. Uh, momentum is mass times velocity. And so the answer would be A because the basketball has the most mass. Velocity has nothing to do with inertia. Uh, it has everything to do with momentum. And so a train sitting still has a ton of inertia, but no momentum. A bullet has uh, very little inertia, uh, but a lot of momentum if it's traveling very quickly. Uh, the second question has to do with momentum, mass, and velocity. It says a car with a mass of 1,200 kilograms and a momentum of 600 kilogram meters per second. Uh, what is this car's velocity? And so you're given mass, 1,200 kilograms. Uh, momentum, uh, 600 kilogram meters per second, you're asked to solve for velocity. So you want to use the equation P is equal to M times V. P is 600, M is 1,200, uh, V is what you're solving for. And so your velocity would be 600 divided by 1,200 or 0 0.5 meters per second. The third problem involves uh, impulse, force, and time. It says if a car at rest is pushed with a force of 100 newtons for eight seconds, how much momentum would it gain? Uh, change in momentum is impulse. Force is given to you as 100 newtons time eight seconds. And so you'd wanna use the equation. Impulse is equal to force times time. Impulse is what you're solving for. Force is given as 100 newtons. Uh, and then your time is eight seconds. And so impulse or change in momentum would be 800 kilogram meters per second. The last problem here is definitely the most difficult uh, because you need to use that big old equation that I had on the first slide. But it says a bowling ball with a mass of five kilograms and a speed of four meters per second strikes a bowling pin with a mass of 0 0.7 kilograms. If the pin moves away with a velocity of eight meters per second, what would the velocity of the bowling ball be? And so you have numerous masses here, mass of bowling ball, mass of bowling pin, a velocity of bowling ball before, velocity of pin afterwards, and you're asked to solve for the velocity of the bowling ball afterwards. And so this is a conservation of momentum problem. Your momentum before is equal to your momentum afterwards. Uh, what I've indicated in this big old equation is we have the momentum, 
of the bowling ball, object one before, because you have an object that has mass and velocity. The bowling pin, I'm just assuming, uh, because it doesn't state otherwise, that it is not moving before, so it has a momentum of zero. And then afterwards, you have two objects that are moving. You have, again, the bowling ball that continues rolling, and you have the bowling pin that's knocked off to the side. And so you can use uh, momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Uh, you can add all of the information that you're given from this problem. And you know that the momentum of the bowling ball before is five uh, kilograms times four meters per second or 20 kilogram meters per second. That's your momentum uh, before some collision. Your momentum afterwards is gonna be the mass times the velocity of the bowling ball plus the mass times velocity of the bowling pin. Uh, so the only variable you don't know in this circumstance is the velocity of the bowling ball afterwards. Uh, what you can do is just isolate that V and solve uh, to come up with the velocity of the bowling ball afterwards uh, that must be 2.88 meters per second uh, to uh, equal out the momentum before and afterwards. So since momentum cannot be gained or lost, it uh, must be conserved. Uh, that is the end of this video, providing an overview of momentum, uh, collisions, impulse, and the law of conservation of momentum. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.